are visible but there are many disabilities which are not visible good morning everyone my name is Abha Variku and I am a student of class 7th A as you all know that in India every year on November 17th epilepsy day is observed to spread awareness about epilepsy epilepsy comes from a greek word epilepsia which means to take hold of or to seize epilepsy is a neurological disorder in which brain act activity becomes abnormal it causes seizures or fits some facts about epilepsy are there are almost 70 million around uh, 70 million people around the world suffering from epilepsy from which one sixth of them are estimated to be in India. Lavender is the international color for epilepsy. On March 26, around the world, people wear purple clothes to spread the awareness about epilepsy. This disorder occurs in males slightly more than females. Epilepsy Foundation India is a non-profitable organization which conducts free treatments camps at clinics for patients. Epilepsy is not a disease. It is a disorder. Let's treat it and defeat it. Thank you. Good morning all. Today, I, Deepa Lagarwal, am going to tell you about causes and symptoms of epilepsy. Epilepsy is a central nervous system disorder in which brain activity becomes abnormal, causing periods of unusual behavior, sensation, and sometimes loss of awareness. Epilepsy disease can be caused by different conditions that affect a person's brain. Many times, doctors don't know the cause. Traumatic brain injuries, strokes, certain infection, which is the leading cause of epilepsy worldwide, and pregnancy complications are some preventable cause of epilepsy. But what do we know that the person is suffering from epilepsy or not? So the symptoms of epilepsy are temporary confusion, a staring smell, uncontrollable jerking movements of arms and legs, loss of awareness, Physical symptoms such as fear, anxiety or deja vu. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Nikita Verma of class 7th A. Today I am going to tell you about the precautions of epilepsy. The causes of epilepsy are wide ranging but there are some things you can do to prevent or reduce your risk of developing epilepsy. Reduce your risk of traumatic brain injuries by using seat belts, child passenger seats, bicycle and motorcycle helmets, prevent falls when possible, treat traumatic brain injuries. Reduce your risk of stroke and heart disease by eating a healthy diet, exercising and quitting smoking. Keep vaccinations up to date by this lowers your chances of infection which can sometimes lead to epilepsy. Practice good hand washing and food safety habits to avoid the infection called cystisercosis which is the most common cause of acquired epilepsy. Seek prenatal care and stay healthy during pregnancy. Learn stress management and relaxation techniques. Skip TV and computer time whenever possible. Avoid playing video games. Now for a better understanding, we would like to show you a small video on epilepsy. One type of seizure that I have is called an absent seizure. So I'll be in class or something and then I suddenly, it's like I've zoned out for a bit. And then I come back to reality again, but I've missed a whole chunk of what's going on. I think it only lasts a couple of seconds, but then sometimes if I'm tired or stressed out, I'll have lots in a row. I'm fine afterwards, I mean I feel okay. But if I don't know what's going on in the lesson, I get really confused and worried that I can't answer the question or whatever. Or I worry that other people will think I'm weird if it happens when we're talking or playing. And in year three, my teacher thought I was being naughty when actually I couldn't help it at all. That made me so annoyed. Nowadays, my mum and my brother and my best friend know that I get upset if I miss stuff, so they tell me about it afterwards, and that makes me feel lots better. If someone has epilepsy, this means that they have seizures. 
Your brain is like a computer that controls your mind and your body. And it does this by sending electrical messages. During a seizure, these electrical messages get mixed up. There are lots of different types of seizure, and every person with epilepsy is affected in a different way. It really depends on what type of seizure you have, but they are all due to your brain signals getting mixed up for a short time. Epilepsy does not define you. Your courage and strength does. Be fearless. Epilepsy changes people. It guides us into someone who understands more deeply, hurts more often, appreciates more quickly, cries more easily, hopes more desperately, he loves more openly and lives more passionately. Having epilepsy does not mean you have to accept and cope with depression. You have as much right to help and support as anyone else. Thank you.